Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking more about uh, advanced uh, mecha mechanism simulations and um, multi-degree freedom uh, mechanisms, okay? So first, uh, we're going to talk about slotted links over here on the um, base panel. So slotted links are a great way to uh, restrict the motion of a, um, of a link. It makes it so that uh, one of its joints um, only has uh, pure linear motion and there is no rotational motion, okay? So... I'm going to hit slide at link and I'm going to draw my slide at link. Let's say I want to draw it over here at the origin, extend it to the right, and I'm going to let go whenever I am satisfied with it. So uh, next, I'm going to draw, uh, just hit draw link. And I'm going to start one of its joints um, inside the slot here, slide at link. So I'm going to click my mouse over here, drag it out to the left. Uh, let's say over here, that should be good. Let go. Okay, and then I'm going to draw one more link down here, just like that. Um, yeah, okay. That should be good. So now um, I'm going to make this joint a ground. I'm going to ground that joint. I'm going to ground this joint over here, the uh, left joint of the slotted link. I'm going to ground that. And I'm going to ground the right joint of this slide link, just like this. Perfect. So now I'm going to add a rotary uh, actuator here, just like that. So now, as you can see, um, this joint over here is only moving in a straight line. As you can see, it's blue line, which is uh, basically indicates the path of the joint is a perfectly straight line because it is constrained by this um, slotted link. So I'm going to delete this. Now you notice here on the right, uh, you also have a, a, a add slot option, okay? So let's say um, I'm going to draw a regular link like this. And let's say um, I want to add, I want to make this a slot link, okay? Then you can just click add slot and click on an existing link and it'll uh, put a slot inside of it, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now um, let's talk about draw cylinder, okay? So I'm going to hit draw cylinder, and uh, let's say I want to draw it over here. So I'm going to extend it over here. Then I'm going to hit uh, draw link. Start drawing it over here. Let go to end the link, and I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw one final link. Actually, I don't have to. I can just uh, click this, uh, and I'm going to hit ground this link, and I'm going to also hit ground just like that. And then I'm going to click uh, this uh, top joint here, and I'm going to hit Add Linear Actuator, just like that. And then I'm going to hit Play. Now, when I hit Play and I add a linear actuator, you notice that it will um, it'll resemble sort of this uh, piston cylinder uh, mechanism. Okay, so... I'm going to delete this. Okay, now, you notice how um, most of the mechanisms in this um, in these videos so far have all been uh, one degree of freedom mechanisms, right? So what about multi-degree of freedom mechanisms, okay? So um, let's try to make a mechanism uh, that has two degrees of freedom, right? Which means you need two parameters to fully specify it in space. So I'm going to start by drawing a link like this and start by drawing a link like this. Okay. And let's say I want to add, I'm going to make this um, a ground. And I'm going to make this add a rotary actuator here. And I'm going to add a rotary actuator here. Okay. Now you notice here, when I do this, uh, the DOF here uh, is two, which is good. That's more than one. And if I hit play, it'll make this uh, sort of you know, obscure, uh, weird shape. Okay. So I'm going to hit stop. Now you notice here that um, there's this little square looking icon here. And when I click on it, you can actually adjust the speed over here of this uh, actuator. So you can adjust the speed at which it rotates. So if I increase it, um, it obviously will rotate faster. Okay. So let's keep it at, let's keep it at 13. Same thing. I'm going to click on this one and adjust its speed as well. Now when I adjust the speed, you notice that um, the path of uh, each joint uh, also changes, right? And you can make some very, very cool and aesthetically uh, looking uh, designs and shapes. So you can play around with this function. 
you can uh, make your own very simple uh, two degree of freedom mechanism, play around with the velocity and like the pass, and you know just find what um, find what you think is aesthetically pleasing. So um, I'm gonna end the video here, and uh, in the ne in the next video we're gonna be talking more about transformations such as translating, rotating, and scaling um, different lengths and shapes and stuff like that.